Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf TV and you've joined us on our Take Charge Tour now with Robert Yang. Now Robert is going to be taking me through an Olympic lifting program. Basics. The basics. Yeah, the basics. Right, right. Okay, so Robert does nutrition as well, so if you haven't checked that out already, make sure you go and see that video. That was a fantastic video about what you should be eating on the golf course. Robert, is this going to be easy or is it going to be hard? We'll make it easy on you. Oh, please oh, do. We'll, we'll challenge, we'll please challenge do. you too. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what happens. Okay, so Andy's wimped out on this one. He's on the camera. He says he's feeling a little bit tired, Robert. So there's a sign up there, five five dollar charge for whining. Um, okay, so twenty dollars already. Yeah, twenty twenty already. Perfect. So obviously we're doing we're talking about Olympic lifting now. A lot of people will think Olympic lifting, golf, do they go together? Well, we know, and obviously you know, and from all the other fitness guys out there, it really does help you with the golf. But before we get into this, what level of I suppose sports person, athlete, or even amateur golfer out there, what level of golfers should be doing this? Because you've got to be careful with injury, I would have thought. Right. So uh, what I, I love to do with the Olympic lifts is how to apply them to different sports. Mm -hmm. And we know with power output, one of the best ways to get the connection between your brain and your muscles yeah. is through your nervous system. And so okay. literally what we're doing with the Olympic lifts is getting the person to activate the nervous system. Okay. And we're after what we call the type 2B fibers, the fast twitch fibers. Mm -hmm. All the fibers that help you to jump high, run fast. And we know that if you can jump higher and you can run faster, you can hit the golf ball further. Okay, okay. So as simple as that. So okay. better athlete, better golf. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So as far as being the, the people this is applicable to, if there's anyone who's got the injuries, obviously, anything like that, right. they need to seek medical Absolutely. advice first before they do any of this. Um, that means I can't do anything, so I'm out of the yeah. video. Great, <laughs> Andy, you're in. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. That's five dollars for me. Um, so yeah, okay. So the, the the basics. So let's. I mean, let's go through this, and we'll, yeah. we'll talk a little bit about how I feel this relates to the golf swing as we're doing this as well, which should be really good. Right. So really, the foundation for uh, the Olympic lifts, which is the clean and the snatch, okay. is a hip hinge. Okay. So this is what we call a Romanian deadlift. Yeah. So if you know, someone said, well, Robert, this is, you can only choose one exercise to do for the rest of your life. What exercise would you do? This would be it. This would be the one. Because this, this really works one. everything from your feet all the way to your head. Yeah. All right. So we, this, is, and this is your base, your foundational lift in order to learn the Olympic lifts later. Okay. But we're going to start from the very basics where anybody should be able to do this. Yeah. Even if you maybe have possibly have an injury, maybe not with a 20 kilo bar. Okay. But you'd maybe use a golf club. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Just a hip hinge pattern. Yeah. So, in that capacity, yes, if you're injured, seek a medical professional. Yeah. But you can use it with someone who maybe has some back pain, but then I'm going to ramp it up to eventually get to the meat and potatoes of mm -hmm. what we call uh, basically a clean pull, okay. uh, being fast and explosive. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I like to use uh, a, a stance that's about a little wider than pelvis width. Okay. Yeah. That's so we get a little bit wider than pelvis width, and you're going to come all the way up to the bar. Okay. Yep. So maybe about an inch away from the bar. Inch away or even closer, yeah, That's okay. Good. Yep. So one thing that I, I tell people a cue for uh, players to look at is just look down and the bar should be right above your shoelaces. Okay, yeah. That's so good. So you're right there. Yep. So at this point, we've got the bar obviously elevated on blocks, so we don't have to have you lift from the floor. Mm -hmm. So it sounds very stupid, but I want you to lift the load as if it's 200 kilos, but get yeah. your body nice and stiff, and then you're yeah. gonna pick up the bar. So okay. go ahead and grab. So from here, uh, grip wise, do I do anything like this? Right now, we're just gonna go with a regular grip. So nice, he's yeah. using alternating grip, which okay. you're used to, but we're gonna use a regular uh, okay. symmetrical grip. So from here, right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cue him that with this, I want him to actually have an S posture. Okay. That's a safe position to lift any sort of load, and you can see he's got a good posture alignment. So go ahead and just stand up. All right, good. So that. From that position, this is going to be actually a start position. But if you're going to pick up the bar from the block, that would be how to properly pick up the bar. Okay. Now, the classic uh, Romanian deadlift positioning is slightly bend the knees. Okay. Now, your first instinct and your first motion is you're going to shift your weight to your heels. Okay. So shift your weight to your heels. Yeah. And you're going to stick your butt out behind you. Okay. As the ball so goes down. Yep. Yeah, there you go. And then back up. Okay. Now. Great shift of the heels, but going out. This time, I don't want any further bend of the knees. Okay. So a slight bend. Slight bend. And then from that standpoint, this angle right here stays, stays the, same. the same. And then the hip is going out. So behind this is you. really hinging of the hip. That's right. There. Keeping Stop. that angle. And then back up. So what I'm looking at here as a coach is I'm looking at this angle here. So I don't want any sort of change here to happen at all. Okay. So I want you to again lock this in, and I want you to push this hip behind you towards the wall. So off you go. There, and then back up. 
Now he's continuing to bend his knees, so I'm going to just have you. Okay. This is just slightly. I want you to think of straightening your knees slightly, about okay. like an inch or two. So come down, let the bar slide down. Okay. That's it. Butt out, butt out more, butt out, stop, and then back up. Much better. So another cue that I want him to feel is I want him to feel his hamstrings. So do it again. I want you to stretch the hamstring as much as you can. Okay. So I definitely feel more stretched there. Stop. Back up. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to change is I want that bar sliding in contact with the thighs the whole time. Okay. So there's no daylight whatsoever. Brilliant. Off you go. Butt out, butt out, butt out. Keep the bar in contact. Stop. And then back up. Good. And we'll do it two more times just to get that pattern. Slide, slide, slide the bar. Butt out, butt out, butt out, butt out. Stop. And then back up. Okay. Good. Cool. And one more. Butt out, butt out, butt out, butt out. Out, 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 butt out, butt out, stop, and back up. Okay. Okay, good. interesting. So just relax, so bend the knees, put the bar down. Right, Did okay. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. And then I think that's something that maybe looking at my technique there needed to be better, needed to be different. Yeah. So you could tell, I could tell because Absolutely. what you're asking me to do is different to what I would normally do. Right. And I think I see this a lot when I go to the gym. I mean, I, my technique was wrong there. But I see people who, when I go to the gym and they do this exercise, and I'm thinking, oh my God, he's going he's, right. he's to break in half soon. Yeah. So absolutely yeah. make sure that when this is done, I mean, just using a mirror, I don't think it's good enough. I think you need to have someone, an expert, to teach you to do this from absolutely. the beginning right. so you can then have that foundation. I'm sorry, that's probably what you were about to say. But no, 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 no absolutely, that, that's correct. Uh, and the thing is that, again, we're not focused on weight here. We're focused on the motion. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Pierce has done some weightlifting, so I know he can handle a 20 kilo bar. Yeah. Um, but if you're in doubt, then you go lighter. If you're in doubt, you have pain, then you've got to seek a medical profession. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just add a movement on top of this. Okay. So what we're going to simply do is ultimately the, the movement's going to be a very fast motion of a clean and then a yeah. quick up on the toes. But right yeah. now all we're going to do is we're going to go with the Romanian deadlift, finish the top, be tall, and finish with a shrug. Make a shrug. And that's all okay. we're going to do. Cool. So we're just extending Same grip. Motion. Yep. Same grip. So I'll bring that up that nice way so I just get used up. to that. There you go. And then remember when you come out. That hip, it's like you want to touch the wall. Touch the wall you. with it. Yep. Slide that bar, slide that bar, slide the bar. That's it. Pause and then back up. And think tall, tall, tall. Shrug to the ears. All the way up and then back down. And then three more just like that. That's it. Butt out, butt out. Feel for the hand knees, feel for the hand knees. Stop. And then back up. So really slow really helps me focus on getting the technique better. That's right. Good. And then shrug. Good. And again. Weight on the heels, that's it. Butt out, butt out, butt out, stop. And then back up. So if Pierce goes any further down, he's gonna to start to change his low back position. So I'm having him stop once the <coughs> bar gets to about the top of the kneecap. Okay. So one more. Just to imprint this pattern. That's right. Grip the bar, grip the bar, squeeze it. There you go, stop. And then back up. And shrug. Perfect, good. And then go ahead and put the bar down. So just to reiterate, uh, the pattern only looks 10 times better, but what we're ultimately trying to do is we're trying to, you're like a computer, mm -hmm. so we're just trying to upload software. Yeah. But we want that software to be always good software. Yeah. So that's why I'm so adamant about the technique being on par and very, very And this is it's very similar to a golf swing, you know, if your technique that's right. and the grip, you know, if you rush that, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. So now you've got that pattern in, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to speed up a bit. So okay. we're going to have you come down, you're going to... Come to the bottom, I'm gonna say pause. Yeah. You gotta pause for two seconds. Then once you pause at the bottom, I want you to come up quickly and you're gonna come up onto the toes. Okay, cool. So yeah. we've established a pattern of a hip hinge and a good shrug pattern. Now we're gonna speed everything up to what we're gonna perform what we call a clean pull. So this is more of an explosive movement. So if you're unsure about this technique, you definitely don't wanna go with this pattern unless you feel like you're proficient at the other two patterns. So Pierce, you're gonna uh, go in again, stand up with the bar properly. Again, keep that arch, and then come up. Good, so from here, he's gonna come down, pause for two, and then he's gonna come up quick. Up onto those toes. Shrug. Yep, onto the toes. Load the hamstring, hold, hold, hop up. Good, perfect. Okay. And do it again. Butt out, butt out, butt out. Good, hold, hold, hop up. Good. Now, just if you notice there, he actually jumped. Now, I didn't cue him to, but that is essentially the nut, 
nuts and bolts of the Olympic lifts is from here to get this hip extension. It's what we call a vertical thrust. And so we want to get that extension at the ankles, the knees, and the hips and get everything, the whole body working explosively. So it's okay that he actually okay. did a jump. That's okay what to we do, call yeah? a clean jump, okay. which is okay to do. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I wouldn't actually pull you back. I'd probably let you just jump. Carry on doing that. And then what we would do is we would actually add weight. Okay, okay. So it gets to a certain point where if you can add a little bit of weight on the bar, then the power output actually goes up. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so that's why, yeah, the clean would end here as we call a power clean, but really, if you're working with a player mm -hmm. and you just want to introduce some power and you've, you've only got maybe four weeks with the player, yeah. this is something that can, you can in easly introduce as long as there's no physical you know, Absolutely. issue of pain or whichever. And you can see here that we, 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 talk about, you know, we talk about power in the golf swing and it's about using the ground. Well, Absolutely. this is what we're doing now. We are using the ground. I'm getting all my energy from the ground. Yeah. I'm not pulling with my arms. I'm not pushing with my chest. I'm not pulling with my back. Yeah. It, it, is, it is all from the ground. And that's, that's a massive component in, in setting off what, that sequence of starting the downswing from, we talked about sequence earlier, about yeah. starting the downswing with right. a low body and then letting it go through the rest of the body up to the head almost. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you know, you can put the bar down. Is that okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, th that's why this is a great exercise. As you can see, I mean, you've never really performed the clean pull nope. or no, no, jump. No, no, no. And we got you doing it within a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, and, we, and it was perfect. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It actually looked good. His, your jump was vertical, slightly back. Yeah, that's what we're which is actually what we're after. Yeah. Okay, super. Looks good. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Is there anything else we can do now from here? So, actually, after this, what we can work on is a squat pattern. So okay. if you have time with a player, what you can do is you can work on a front squat pattern. Okay. So let's have you grab the bar and we're going to get you up into a front squat. Okay, so from here, yep. this position here, yeah. Yeah, so, so we'll come up there. Here. Yep. Now, can you get the bar up on the fingers and hike up your shoulders? Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it slightly choking you a little bit? A uh, little bit, a little, little bit. bit. Okay, so if it's choking you, it's in the right position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Because we want to create as much of a shelf as possible so that it's completely stable to fall. So it's almost we on the want... collarbone, isn't it? Almost. Right. Well, not on the collarbone because you're shrugged up a little bit. Okay, no, Yeah, so right. now it should be choking right. a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so it. it's literally on the actual muscle, the deltoid versus the collarbone. It looks yeah. like it is, but it's just slightly touching. Yeah, you're right. So from this standpoint, that's a good stance. Okay. So we're going to stay as upright as possible, squat yeah. down as far as you can, being on your heels. There, and then back up. Good, and then do it again. Good, and then I just want you to turn your toes out a bit. Okay. Toe turn out, yep. Same thing, push the knees out to the side of the squat. And you can see the pattern is much better there. Yeah. yeah. So that possibly is tightness in the hips then? It could be tightness in the hips, but we're trying to find the most stable position for you to front squat. That's why I had you turn your toes out. Good. And then what I want you to do is the last two reps, I want you to put your heel uh, weight on the outer part of your heel where I'm touching. Okay. Yes. Yep. And off you go. Pull, pull, back up. Good. And one more time. Let's imprint that pattern in your brain. Pull, pull, drive the outer heel up. Good. Rest. All right. So that would be really the ultimate pattern because this ultimately teaches you eventually the catch position. Yep. So then as someone gets more proficient at the front squat and they get comfortable with it, touching the neck, yeah. then we can go eventually into the clean pattern. Wow. But this is very really essential because now you're actually having to squat down and create force through the ground as you maintain that alignment. Superb. Yeah. Okay. So you're working every, everything right there. So that would be the progression from that exercise. So yeah, so I would, I would probably teach the, the clean, that hip hinge pattern yeah. first, yeah. the Romanian deadlift yeah. shrug, go to the clean pull, and then I would definitely introduce the front squat sometime. Okay. I can do that with the golf club as well, I'm sure, the, the front oh, squat, yeah? Yeah, so you, know, yeah. you practice well, the only, that with... the, only, the only problem, limitation with a golf club is that it's not heavy enough. It's not pulling the fingers back. Pull the fingers back. Okay. Yeah, okay. unless you're extremely flexible. But other than that, um, you'd have to actually use something with some weight to it. Okay. To the actual Olympic front squat. Okay. So are you done with me? Are we going to see you do some or yes, you got so anything we're, else? We're done with you. Okay, so can, can we see you do something like this a bit different? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so what yeah. we're going to do? After the break, we're going to watch Robert do what I can do, but a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, Robert Yang here with meandmygolf.com. You're probably wondering what am I holding in my hand? Well, this is a vial of salt that I always carry with me, and it's something that you should carry with you in your golf bag. And the reason for salt is that when you sweat on the golf course, 
you're sweating water, but you're also sweating salt and minerals. And this is a unrefined salt. And so every liter of water that you, let's say, refill at one of the stations, you want to put a generous pinch of salt in that water, and that is your natural electrolyte. There's no need for any sports drink. This will replace the salt as well as your electrolytes to help you stay hydrated, prevent cramps, prevent fatigue, to make sure that you can play well on the golf course. Okay, so Robert, you know what? I don't really want to embarrass you in your own gym, but come on, I see you do this first. Yeah, I, I, I might have a go afterwards. All right. Maybe not. All right, so I'll, what? I'll get the heavyweights for you. Yeah, get the heavyweights, I get more plates on there. So what are we going with here? So you're going to do, what exercise are you going to do? So this is technically called a power clean from the blocks. Okay. So this would be above the knees. Yeah. So we're kind of cutting out the first part of the motion. Okay. Just working on basically just the meat and potatoes a little bit. Okay. So this would be something that I would definitely work with you to get you to a certain point. So this is an advanced exercise. So advanced. anyone watching this, right. you're going to see in a minute, probably not a good idea to try at home if you've never done it before. So. Yeah. Three? Three. Okay. Triples, yep. Yeah. I'm not sure on his grip, guys. Wasn't that quiet, was it? <laughs> that was good. That was very good. That was very good. Well, that's the fun part of it because, you know, I explain to people when I'm teaching my courses, you know, yeah, you want to lift weights controlled and so forth, but when we're after power, you want to be aggressive. You yeah, want to be somewhat violent with the, the lift. Yeah, yeah. Because that gets you to activate those fibers we're after. But then it's fun because <clears> you eventually teach people how to control the, yeah. like, drop the bar. Like, it yeah. looks like I'm just haphazardly dropping it, mm -hmm. but it's actually a controlled drop. It's controlled, absolutely. And that's one of the big benefits of doing the Olympic Games for a player is because, uh, as you guys know, with weightlifting, when you control and you lift the weight, that's what we call the concentric. Mm -hmm. And the eccentric is the lowering phase. Mm -hmm. Well, the lowering phase is where you get all the tissue damage, the muscle damage, yeah. which creates more soreness. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to create more soreness with the no, players. No, no. We want them to be able to come in the gym, yeah. get stronger, get more fit, but then get out on the course so they can practice more. So mm -hmm. that's why with this, you lift up, yeah. The concentric, but you drop the load so you don't take that excessive muscle tear and catabolism, which allows a person to get powerful, strong, but less muscle soreness. Absolutely. That's one of the benefits. Makes total sense. Makes absolute yeah. total sense. And, and, and as you said, golf is not a slow, gentle sport. That's you right. know, the guys on the PGA Tour now hit it. A lot of them hit it over 300 yards. So if you want to hit the ball over 300 yards, you need to be doing this sort of stuff. And that's yep. what they do. Tiger does this sort of stuff. They yep. have been doing this for a while now. So yep. fantastic. Great insight. Right. OK. Good job. Yeah. So heavy weights for you next time. Next, please. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that's given you an insight in how powerlifting and, and, and strength conditioning can actually help your golf. You know, it really is important. Use that ground and, and push up from there. Obviously, make sure that you're able to do that. Some of the stuff maybe, well, 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 Robert did at the end anyway, that was advanced. So make sure you're in a position you can do that. So consult your medical professional first. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Robert, if, obviously you, you train here in Southern California. So how can people right. get in touch with you? And you do online stuff and you do your, your facility here, don't you? Right, so if they want to contact me and come to my facility, get some coaching, uh, you can contact me through robertyang.net. Uh, and just email me through the website. Fantastic. That sounds very simple. Awesome. Okay, Robert, thank you so much for your time. Very thanks good. For your time, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Post your comments down below and uh, let us know about your training programs. And, uh, well, you never know, we might get you as big as this guy one day. <laughs> thanks for watching.